Uh, welcome everyone to a brand new, like, EU4 Let's Play, which I am extremely confused. Um, why am I extremely confused? Because I recently put up a video saying how badly I stunk at EU4, and yet you guys really want me to play EU4 again. Um, specifically you guys want me to play an African nation, which, you know, I'm going back a little bit to my roots, which is kind of cool. And... Still very confused, because seriously, I didn't think that you guys would want to see another, like, EU4 Let's Play again, but apparently you guys do, so, you know what, as I say in this world, do not argue with results, because, whatever, so, um, I was thinking about doing a, uh, Morocco Ian campaign and just, like, you know, dominating in that front, but I find that Morocco is a pretty boring state to be, like, pretty boring, um, so is Algiers and so is Tuzdia. Like, all three of these guys are pretty boring to be in terms of, like, Let's Play Nations. I was maybe going to think about doing Renata, but that nation's a little bit too hard for me on the on the flip side. So, you know, I think what I might do is actually do a Let's Play of Tripoli. Well, hmm, let's see. The viewers already know what I chose, what I chose to do at the very end of this video, because that's what it's going to be titled. So do I want to do... At least the four nations, which one do I want to do? Well, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe, if he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, I'm choosing Morocco. <laughs> Only for the simple fact that I think what I'm going to do, well, I'll explain what I'm going to do in a second. Well, uh, first I have to get in the game, so you guys... Okay, guys, back. So basically, as Morocco, you start out as this uh, mighty nation of Morocco. Well, I wouldn't say mighty, but I would say big enough to the point where you won't die. Okay? Okay, and your basic goal in Morocco is to try to survive the, uh, the whoredoms of the Christian Empire. Well, basically there's two ways you could do that. You could either conquer your Muslim brethren to gain the land you need to then protect yourself against the hordes of Christi uh, Christendom, or you can embrace their ideals and basically use their own tax against them. Fire versus fire. Um, I preferably like the second option much better because, uh, you actually live longer in that state, so, yeah. Basically, basically what I'm referring to, guys, if you don't quite understand or comprehend what I'm saying, is that I want to get to westernization as quickly as possible. Um, but first, I have to make sure that the newest western neighbor, Portugal, is about 20 militaristic tech ahead, no, 8 militaristic tech ahead of me, before I can legally westernize. So, yeah, you see right here, uh, Western Navy and Portugal is only zero techs ahead of us. So, yeah, we have to wait for them to zero tech. So, in the meantime, while they're trying to get their, uh, you know, stuff together down here and doing invasions of Granada and eventually an invasion of me, I'm not stupid, I already know I'm on, like, their hit list of greatest nations that they should destroy early on. So, I'm not stupid, uh, but I think one of the smartest things to do in the very beginning of the game is to go on invasions of these other Muslim nations, like over here. Like, just go on frequent invasions of Tuznia, and Tripoli, and Morocco, or the Mamelukes. <laughs> or you could go the second route, but I can't go the second route until, like, I get militaristic ideals. So we'll do that route a little bit later, but anyways... Um, first things first is I'll get a diplomatic alliance with our friends, the, uh, Algiers. Because Algiers is a really good friend, and next I'll get an offer alliance from Tripoli. Once I get these two, I'm just gonna go suffocate Tuznia. Like, I'm just gonna declare a flat-out war before they get any alliances. Let's see if I can do this really quick. Gosh staying. Perfect, perfect. Just go quick. Okay, they are allied with Tripoli. Okay, that's fine. They can be allied with Tripoli. Tripoli is not that big of a threat to me. And my, my succession is safe. Even though since you are a Muslim, you get this special tech group called 100% uh, like... Where is it? Okay, well, let's see. What's our missions right now? Royal Mares with Algiers. Let's do that. Because I'm not going to go to war with Algiers for a couple of years. So, we can all, they'll send me the Royal Marriage. And the Allied Morocco. Okay. So, anyways. Uh, what we have to do is just wait for our diplomats to come back quickly. Okay, now did I get anything else with Algiers? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, now what we're going to do is just declare a flat-out conquest. Okay, and with the combined effort of both Algiers and my army, 
we should be able to crush him. Um, I'm actually going to wait just a little bit, because what I want to do is, well, let's hope they don't, let's hope they do not get an alliance with, uh, Algeria, but I want to make sure my troops are as close as possible, and I want to make sure this is all set up properly. Uh, military access, get military access, okay, got military access, okay, and now here, you guys, I know you guys are always threatened by me, you should be, and now, Algiers will help me still, play war. Take a two stability hit in the beginning, I had to do it because, uh, we honestly need, we honestly need to expand, I should be the war leader, yeah, I should be the war leader, and basically now we'll just do is just go walk straight up to the Algerian front, and since we already have superior military due to the Algerians being our friends, I'm also going to turn down music just by a little bit, okay, there we go, um, since we already have superior military due to the fact we have the, uh, Algiers on our side, we should be easily able to crush whatever force they have over here. Um, only problem is that I did take a two stability hit. It did affect me, kind of. Not really. <laughs> you see, it's good in the beginning of the game when you can take a two stability hit and not have that much problems. I'm gonna need this guy though, right here. Because we need to get that... We have a very bad yearly inflating reduction because we have gold provinces. Gold provinces aren't necessarily bad. They're just really, really annoying. The fact that you always have to, like... You know, do stuff, and we're just gonna quickly go crush this up uh, force right here before they get enough stuff, okay? And that should be the entire Triple E army. We're just gonna casually go in, just go destroy them, okay? And now we're just going to detach enough to execute a siege. Yeah, just detach enough to execute a siege. And basically, what we're going to do is we're just gonna annex Tennis. Possibly to Triple O if I really want to. I'm not sure if I want to take that aggressive expansion yet. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is just like, this is like this first move you should honestly be making in this game, because, well, you guys are in a, a personal, leads a personal unit with Granada, okay, that's not good, because that could possibly bring me in a war with these guys, and I don't want to be at war with these guys this early in the game. Not this soon, at least. Let's wait, raise wartime taxes, just decrease how much my power is decreasing. Okay. Alright, now we just sit here and wait for sieges to finish. Huzzah! But yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Did I forget to detach the right siege? I feel like some of my men just somehow just vanished. Let's see. No, I still got all my nine men. Okay, seems like I'm not sieging one of the provinces, which is not good. So let's build some men. A quick little sieging force. Okay, like one soldier will go siege down the capital of Tunis. Uh, the Gamalians, formerly the slave soldiers of Morocco, were trained and educated at the master's expense, serving him in the capacity he wished for. Most of them were soldiers, some were administrators. Okay, basically, which one? What do I want my slaves to be now that they become free? Um, I could gain some military tradition, which is actually pretty good. Gain some administrative power, but I, I think honestly I want the administrative power because um, I want to get to exploration ideas as quick as possible because that would seriously help me out in the long run. Well, not just the long run, but it would help me out in general. Okay, so yeah, that's two stability hit really affecting me, but I had to do it. I just had to do it. So they're obviously building up their own little army in Tunis. I, I'll go destroy in a second. I'll let them. I'll let them have their fun and make them think that they're gonna win over there. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you see, even even the army is not big enough to fight against mine. It's kind of sad. Okay, so apparently I'm sieging down stuff for Algiers that's kind of stinking, and I'm the war leader, just making sure about that. So if you're not the war leader, this could become a pretty bad uh, situation, because then you could actually get more siege on anything. Go destroy this army right here. Destroy the last of the triple EM people. Good job. Okay. Both of you guys go over here, go destroy the uh, Tunis army o over there, and now they're running away, um, combine and we split, gonna wait for them to figure out where they wanna be, right there, go after them, actually they don't have enough men to actually do the siege, so just stay right here, just block them up, they really don't have enough of anything to do anything, so just keep them, just keep them down, they should be fine, and let's see. In terms of, I mean, bump up our stability, let's bump up our stability. Don't really need it though, but it, it kind of helps. I mean, all, all honesty, the only reason why you bump up is prestige is to make sure that you don't have that much money and loans, which is always a bad thing. 
Okay, but anyways, um, basically in this war we are just going to be trying to take all of Tunis into one big gigantic gulf and try to give, okay, I know you guys are going to do some kind of peace offer, which is probably going to be pretty nice for me, but I'm not really in the mood to hear it. So I can gain piety and lose administrative power. going to do that because the pious route is why I want to go right now. Because I want the I want the European powers to take up faster than me. Because well, honestly, I want to become a Western power, not necessarily a Christian Christendom power, but a Western power. Okay, so t I think Tripoli is finally ready to get out of this war. Um, sue for peace for them. What do I want them to do? I want them to become my vassal. That's it. <laughs> That's exactly what I want Tripoli to do. Is become my vassal. This is, I'm, I'm doing this a lot. But they become my vassal, and then I annex the entire state of Tunis. This is how this is gonna all go down. Um, and I'm gonna make two separate peace deals. That way, I can instantly like uh, gain all this very cleverly and sneakily. Because otherwise, you could possibly run into a effect of you know only getting one of the two. Like maybe I can only annex all of Tunis, but I can't like enslave all of Tripoli. Kind of would stink that way, but it's just kind of thing. Okay, I sieged all that, so it's I'm almost done. I have to wait for some of the sieges to end over there. Except they honestly got out of the war before me, so that kind of... No, wait. Oh, no, Algae has got out of the war. Okay, that's fine with me. Just stay right there in your land. Just keep sieging it down. We're going to go send in more reinforcements. Okay, and now I'm going to make separate peace with the Tripolians. Tripoli, will you guys give me what I want? No. Okay, well, I'm just going to send more men to go kill you. <laughs> Good job, guys. You guys are not smart about this at all, so... Send in more men. Okay. Split up the army. No, wait. Not split up the army. Detach a siege. Go send in these guys over here, and then we're going to go, go send in both those armies to go defeat the little barbarian pirates right over there. Okay, go defeat them. Okay. There we go. And I have no army over here, that's good. Now we just wait. Now we just sit back and kick you kick our buckets, making sure that our uh we boost our stability, that way we have a little bit more positives going in our lives. Because that's always good. Raise four time taxes, we could do one more time. And now we just wait for these sieges to finish. And once it I know you guys, I know you guys are ready to end the war, but I'm not ready to end the war. Austria has declared war upon that. The enemy is the Alice region. Kind of stinks for you guys. I don't think you're going to last very long. Uh, Tripoli, I know you guys want a peace deal, but I'm just going to wait until I got most of your land. Once I have most of your land, then I'll feel very safe to go in and, uh, you know, vassalize you. Once you guys are vassalized, that will help me integrate you guys quicker into my society, which then we then have a very powerful state in mind. Okay, there we go. Let's see, you guys ready? I'm gonna do a separate peace deal with you guys. Uh, you guys now will accept it? Good. Now give me all your money. Thank you. And let's see, is there anything else I'd want you guys to do? Transfer trade power. Nah. Okay. Okay, send demands. Okay, got them out of the war. And now they're my vassal, which is all purpose is good. Let's send these guys over here. Diplomatic insult! Really? You, you know what, this is actually going to be better for long term, for right now. Okay, but... Yeah, now I just have to wait for my diplomat to come back. There we go. Algiers, full annexation. I don't care how much... How much, uh... A rats I'm going to get. Get all that land, and booyah! Morocco has now expanded all across the coast of Northern Africa. And has trip basically I've like doubled our land in just two years of being at this. So um second thing I would want to do is immediately start improving relationships with our vassal, Tripoli. But we could kinda take it we could kinda just take a moment's breather for the lovely victory we just won. Um let's see, is there anything I really have to do over here? I'm probably coin it would be nice. Uh, this province is costing us a lot, but I can't quite get it just yet. That kind of stinks. But at least the good thing about this is that all this is accepted culture. Okay, and speaking of accepted, I think my force limit... Yes! Oh gosh, I was hoping for this. My force limit now went up to 13, which means our next target is going to be Algiers. 
Because now since we have a gigantic force limit, we could instantly, like, I'm not even kidding, guys. Now that we have a bigger force limit than Algiers, which was kind of the whole point of this, now we can instantly go to war with them. We can also, at the same time, I think, get an alliance with the uh, Ottomans. Uh, wait for our diplomat to come back. There we go. Well, how close are we not getting... Ah, dang. They're going to be a little bit longer than I expected, but... And they should honestly warm up to me at some point. Okay. And... We can start building up our new army of cavalry, because I want to make sure this is a good, strictly, like, built cavalry, man. I can build some more slots in for other people. Global trade power, morale of armies. Not really something I want right now. Uh, morale of armies, reduce speed. Not really something I want. I want to keep the diplo power, though. Because this guy is really good for right now. I mean, really good. Um, What else? Well, I, honestly, I could just take like a slight bit of break. Not like a break, but I can just like calm down a little bit. Now that I've gotten everything I need to accomplish in my first couple turns... Um, I don't, we can't core these for a very long time, so I might as well just kind of relax, keep my army over there, um, start building my second army over here, and should honestly be worried about any coalitions that start to form against me, um, because as we all know, coalitions are like the worst thing in this game. If I just thought we both possible, uh, disputed succession, Algiers. Oh! They might actually, they might actually become under a personal union of us. That'd actually be pretty nice. Like, if they just naturally came under a personal union to us. That would, no, it wouldn't be like the os. It wouldn't be like the end all be all like vassalization. But you know, it wouldn't be that bad. I would have fun with them being our, you know, little pets for today. <laughs> okay, but right now, yeah, we could just take it easy. Just kind of go on speed five. Not really, we don't really have to focus on too much for right now, I mean, I should also be doing one thing, and that is, uh, protecting our trade. Um, right now we are in about two trade nodes, I think? No, three. We have three trade nodes, um, for some reason it still says that Tripoli has the trade power over here, even though they are gone. I'm pretty sure that's a glitch, so we could probably, we could probably consider this all of our trade power, in a sense. Let's see, Morocco, yeah, we're like the third powerful is trade power over here, so we're gonna, what we're going to try to do is own that trade node, because it's almost nearly impossible to own this trade node. This trade node is almost guaranteed to be owned by the uh, Europeans, at least at the very beginning of the game. So it's better to own this trade node over here, where you have a lot more possibility of taking it over than the other one. And besides, it just looks better, <laughs> in all honesty. Um, and right now we are monitoring how much soldiers the, uh, Algerians have. They don't know that we are going to clear war on them. They probably have no clue. They're probably, they probably, like, think that because now that we're all buddies, uh, they won't have to deal with any, like, stupid stuff from us, but they will soon learn. They will soon learn that the whole idea of this entire invasion was so that I could get a good fortress. And then from there, once we have, like, guys, once we have all the coast of Africa, well, most of the northern coast of Africa, my final plan is to, uh, wait, I also need to, can't ally myself yet, they are still kind of sore about me, uh, let's royal marriage them, though, because they have to, they're forced to royal marriage me, ha 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 ha, so now since they royal marriage me, I'm going to see if I can get an alliance with them, and, not yet. They are a subject nation. We're just gonna have to wait just a little bit, but should be fine. I mean, they're a subject nation of us, so it should be fine. But yeah, let's just start building our cavalry over here. And the one event I was hoping to happen just a little bit later happened a little bit sooner. So, guys, we are going to be going to war with Portugal. It actually isn't that hard to defend against the Portuguese. You just need to make sure you destroy the army it quickly. Oh, shoot. And make sure that your fleet are not destroyed. Did I destroy them all my fleet? No, I still got a fleet somewhere. Yes! Okay, where is it? Okay. Yeah, you guys just stay right there in Armeria. Uh, actually, that's a terrible place, because that's going to be invaded here soon. Okay, and for some reason, they... Okay, split up my army. Send half of them over there. Uh, for some reason, the Algerians have grouped up with me, so that means I'm going to have to deal with a much larger coast to defend. But this kind of forecloses for things to come when I finally take over 
uh, Algier. Okay, so let's see. What is their first move going to be? Oh, they're going to occupy all of Granada, aren't they? Do I have to enter in that? No, they're taking... T the goal, the war goal is not to do that, but to take... We can't negotiate separate peace for Napoli. Okay, so Napoli is still alive? Oh yeah, they're still not personal union right now. So... Yeah, we're just going to... Quietly let Granada be taken over. I can't really help Granada at all. Like, I'm sorry, Granada, but we need to protect our own coast. So I'm just gonna go send some troops over here. And we take in some loans. Understand? Even though we were taking loans. Holy shoot, that's a lot of money. Okay. Okay, so I may have to kick you out, actually. Probably gonna have to kick you out. So there we go. And we get a little bit worse advisor, but still pay for something. Okay, stability modifier, there we go. Alright. We now just have to wait for the first invasions to happen. And we just have to make sure that we keep... We just have to make sure we keep the county of Tangiers underneath our control. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to siege down one of their provinces. That way they can... They know that we have something against them. Because I'm going to have so much war score again. They're going to have so much war score against Granada. It's not even going to be funny. Oh gosh, why did you have to get involved in this Granada? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of troops. It's a good thing they don't have the transports to do all those troops. Otherwise, I'd be dead right about now. And that's, and that's the thing you gotta think of every time when you play this Northern African nation, that usually the Europeans will not have enough transports to fight you for a long time. Influx, game piety, yes, please game piety. This is the definite time to game piety. So, just make sure you can, just make sure they don't have enough ships to fight you, and you should be fine. Okay? Okay. Um, and once they're done sieging Granada, they'll probably come after me. And all my ships were destroyed. That, you know. I'd really wish they held, they held out in Tlemkin, but sadly they came out to, uh, Amelia, which was a stupid mistake. Oh gosh, that. And we should probably take a moment to mourn the people that were lost. And apparently. Oh shoot, I didn't even realize. Oh shoot! They're attacking me over here, okay. Sending on me! Let's go, men! Okay, so apparently there's some uh, rebels over here which we have to fight against. Uh, well, not really rebels. There's some men over here which are apparently trying to siege down stuff. I did not see them over there. That's why That's why they weren't attacking, because they already were attacking. Okay, well, let's just destroy these guys quickly. Oh, come on! And that was like a douchebag move by Algiers right there. Just to, like, abandon me when I needed them. Okay, well, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is going to be as close of an episode as we're going to get today. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.